I thought I'd start a new line of videos that discuss some of my favourite motor racing drivers, races, cars and interesting stories. This first video will discuss Hans Heyer and his one and only F1 race in which he was classified as did not qualify, did not finish and was also disqualified. To understand how this could even be possible, we have to take a look back at Heyer's career. Heyer was born in Germany in 1943, but began his racing career in the Netherlands due to not being old enough to race in Germany. In 1962, he won the Dutch 100cc go-kart championship and the following year won the 125cc championship. He then returned to Germany and had further success in karts and also touring car races, where he drove everything from small Fords and BMWs right up to the Rot Sal, or Red Pig, a huge Mercedes 300 SEL with massive 6.8 litre V8. Higher success and versatility in touring cars would lead to a drive with touring car giant Zack Speed. He was European Touring Car Champion in 1974 and then DRM or German Touring Car Champion in 1975 and 1976. In 1977 BMW entered the DRM and it was this year that would solidify Heyer's legend with German fans. Both Zack Speed and BMW threw everything at the championship. Mega dollars, big name drivers in highly tuned touring cars. Subsequently, the driving standards were, let's say, questionable. But the German crowd and local officials loved it. The on-track antics extremely exciting. Heyer would try his hand at Formula Racing and attempted two Formula 2 races in 1976 at Hockenheim. The first race he finished 6th and the second race he failed to qualify. Hardly results to raise eyebrows. But the following year, German wheel manufacturer ATS had entered Formula 1 with year old Penske chassis. Due to Heyer's DRM exploits, he was drafted in for the German Grand Prix at Hockenheim. With only 24 cars allowed to start, several drivers were going to miss out. Higher qualified with a 1 minute 57.58 second lap time, which was only good enough for 27th and agonisingly only 4 tenths away from qualifying for Sunday's race. However, come Sunday, Higher quietly put on his race gear and slipped into his car. The start of the race was chaotic. The starting lights failed and subsequently when the flag was dropped to start the race, Alan Jones and Clay Regazzoni collided before the first corner. During the confusion, Heyer snuck out on track to the delight of the German fans, and perhaps some of the local officials who may have turned a blind eye. Despite illegally being on track, Heyer completed 9 laps and set the 22nd fastest lap before a gear shift linkage problem forced his retirement. It was only then was it realised that Heyer wasn't permitted to start the race and was subsequently disqualified thereby becoming the only Formula 1 driver to not qualify, fail to finish and be disqualified all in one race. Heyer would switch back to touring cars in 1978 and in his first race in Zack Speed's new Ford Capri Turbo, he set pole by a whopping 4 seconds. He won the DRM Championship again in 1980, this time in a Lancia Vita Turbo despite a huge crash at the Norris Ring. He sporadically raced in touring car and sports car races until the 1990s when he retired. 
During his illustrious career, Haya competed in 12 Le Mans 24-hour races, but failed to finish in all of them, and subsequently holds the record for the most starts at Le Mans without finishing. In 2004, he was coaxed out of retirement, as it had been discovered he'd competed in 999 races. Haya would therefore compete in his 1000th race in a Volkswagen Cup race at the Norris Ring the track where he became a legend with German fans some 27 years earlier. A fitting end to an outstanding career. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions for other racing videos, let me know in the comments below. Also please consider subscribing or joining my Patreon account, your support really helps.